Hey, hey, what's up, guys? Valley Flying here. I am back, and today I'm playing some Alliance Raids and hopefully giving you guys some tips. I'm still learning myself from the rest of my Alliance, and hopefully, I can help you guys be a little better with your Alliance Raids. But before we do that, I just finished the past Blitz Rewards, and I know some people like watching people open these chests, and sometimes I like it. To watch those videos myself so but open is premium orbs that i got from this past blitz events i don't recommend buying these with your power cores but because this is part of the event let's open see what i got oh yeah got yondu nice only 15 but better than nothing let's see what else i get quake nice two decent pulls let's go open again and i don't even know who that is so i have one more yep one more let's see what i got and it's this guy, what is his name? Shield Trooper. All right, so two good ones, two bad ones. Mercenary Riot Guard, so that was the guy that I pulled. Uh, and I guess I'll recruit him. Good for the Blitz, more of these uh, bodies to throw at the Blitz. And that's about it. Let's wait, what is the achievement? 12 skill calendar ca characters. All right, so let's go play some Alliance Raids. Now, we're doing a level 50 raid here, and I'm in the second team. So what my alliance does is divide these all lanes. Everybody has an assigned lane. There's three teams. So you need all 24 of your alliance to be participating in this. This is my lane right here, the second note. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to start this. And I want to choose my team. So this is the team I ended with last time. They're really low on HP. Didn't get to do too much. So this time I'm going to start with my second team. So that's... The Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm going to use Healer and Yondu because he has a chance to pull another Healer. So let's get into it. Let's fight this first fight and try to preserve as much HP as possible. And I'll kind of go through the, my thought process with you when I'm fighting. So I was first thing whenever I start a new game, bring it back up to number three because I want this to go quick. All right. So. Biggest threat, here's our tank right here, the bruiser. This guy's a healer. I think the biggest threat is Nebula or Ravager Bomber, and this is probably their tank. Nope. All right. Let me just hit her hard. Hopefully, it'll refresh in time. And then towards the end of these, I want to start saving my skills. And let's try to beat her with rock. In the beginning, I'm just trying to beat up on them as much as possible. All right, so we got Gamora's skill. I'm going to kill her, hopefully it hits, and then I think the next target should be the Stitcher so he doesn't heal people, or maybe this Bomber because he could deal with good damage. So, boom, got one, going after him now, and Drax is throwing his Taunt, and let's get everybody with Yondu's AoE. Everybody's HP is looking good so far. Boom, let's, anybody heal? Nope, everybody's looking pretty good. Gonna go after him, and here she gets another kill. Boom, and I guess we'll go after the healer. Can't heal. I'm gonna save this. I think there's another wave coming. And that, and it again, and again, and here we go. All right, so I think out of these guys, the biggest threat is Gamora. I wanna take her out. Uh, this has a, I'm gonna use this. Right now, I got the Stitcher, so that's good because I need the healing. Doesn't look like I need it right now. I'm going to wait a turn. Going after the Royal Guard here. And I think I'll use it here and then hopefully I'll catch it on the refresh coming out. This only has a four turn cooldown. I'm going to save this. I think I could beat them without it. I don't think I need that heal right now. Now I can try to go after Gamora again. All right, Groot's healing everybody. Here comes Yondu with his Yak arrow. And then I'm going to save Groot's skill, try to preserve it. That should take out Gamora. So there's no real threats here. Kree Noble, Kree Oracle. Uh, Yondu could use a little bit of boost of health. Oh, I must have healed somebody else. And I'll do a group heal. Nobody's really that down. Here comes this arrow again. This is only a three turn cooldown, so 
I'm going to hit him. I don't think it's going to kill. Nope, it doesn't. Boom. And let's hit. Oh, didn't die. Yeah, these level 50 battles are pretty tough. All right, so I guess I'm going to take out the healer first. Groot. One more should do it. And then these guys have all of their skills fully charged up. Which I'm going to need later. And he's not going to be available. So I'm just going to heal. See, heal what I can there. Alright. So they're pretty good on this battle. Everybody's cooldowns are pretty high right now. Let's move on to the next one. And. Alright. So that was my backup team. They're all looking pretty good right now. I'm going to take them out. I'm going to put in my starters. Her. Her. Uh, Captain America. So, I've been trying to gear these guys. It is a slow process. Most of my guys are in this in this squad that I use for arena raids are either Black Widow's gear nine. Everybody else is either gear eight or gear seven. I'm trying to get everybody up to gear eight right now. All right, two big threats right here. You got Yondu and Gamora. I think Gamora's the biggest threat right here. So what I'm gonna try to do right now is try to get everybody's cooldowns. Set. Just gonna go the normal rotation right now. I think this only has one wave. So I gotta try to time it right so everybody. Alright, and that's that's a big problem with this team. I forgot I didn't have a healer, so Captain America's losing some right now. Oh, I just lost cap. Alright. I really think I need to get another healer for this. I might have to use some uh, raid tokens to heal him up, to revive him. Cause, all right, so I think now we're in good shape, but we did lose cap, so that was a big loss. Might have to switch my strategies around a little bit and put Night Nurse in every team. Um, All right, and then this should be good, and everybody's cooldown should be pretty good. All right, so everybody else that survived is pretty good. Uh, just that loss of Captain America kind of hurt. All right, so moving on to the next one. Oh, and this is a hard one. So uh, the note is about 85,000. My best team is in the 60s. So let me see what I have as far as heal. I could heal him once or I could heal two players. I think I'm going to need to revive him though. Then I'm going to put in my Guardians team and see what they could do. Healer. Most of these guys' cooldowns are up. All right. So here we go. Let's see what we're going to do on this level. Hopefully they could do some good damage coming up alright so she can't kill anybody yet I'm gonna save the skill I'm just gonna use your basic right now on Yondu and I'm gonna call some assists here oh didn't get lucky I'm gonna use rockets AOE right off the bat Let's see what I can get nobody really needs a heal right now uh, who is this Kree Royal Guard he has a taunt on one thing lacking is in his team is someone to really remove the taunt Yondu's Basic does one guy, but let's see if I can get space. I think hitting his AOE will be a little more valuable. Let me. Oh, and I talked about this in previous video. There's Korath, and he's got that heal block on Drax. That really sucks. Uh, Ronan coming through with a big AOE. Alright, so. I think more important than getting that taunt off. I think I'll kill him with this and then deal some damage to some other characters. There we go. I think Star-Lord's the big... Oh, didn't kill him. Alright, so... Still has that heal block on Drax. I'm going to use the big heal to heal everyone else. And make sure I don't get a taunt on Drax there. Hopefully this takes out Star-Lord. Alright, let's get Karath out of there. 
And Drax still has that healing immunity. I didn't heal block. And not gonna use a taunt there. Got him. She'll get Ronin. And, and oh. Alright, so Drax is dead. Unfortunately, I couldn't heal him because of that heal block that he had on. And Alright, so we got through this one. The top team is still looking in pretty good shape. Night Nurse is still looking in pretty good shape. We locked Drax. I think I could slide crossbones in there. All right, let's go to the next battle. Let's see what we can do. So Drax is out. Rocket's pretty much out. I don't think I have enough to do a heal. No, I don't. So let's see. All right, so this is my, not my top team. Let's go here. All right, I think this will be a pretty good team. Let's do it. Let's get into battle. All right, big threat, Yondu, Gamora. Got to get that taunt off of Drax. And we'll put a blind on everyone, hopefully. Nope, just got Gamora there. All right. We got a Stitcher, so that's good. We got two Stitchers. Let's use Quake's AoE. And Hawkeye and Quake need a heal. One of them will heal. All right, let's see if we could take out somebody. Get a heal. Another heal. We should be back pretty close to full strength at this point. Oh, all right, and that. So that's one of the big changes with the. This should remove that buff, so I could start to go after Yondu now. Yondu now Gamora. All right, and once Nebula is down, Nebula's got a slow on her. After Nebula's down, all their big damage dealers are done. There we go. So we got Kree Royal Guard and Drax. I think Drax has a stronger attack. So I'm going to go for him. Just using my basic attacks right now. Trying to get these refreshes going. Actually, that was a mistake. I wasn't paying attention. I should have done that heal just then. And all right. So that takes him out. So this is... So what I'm trying to do when I'm... Playing these battles. If you played Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, this is kind of like Galactic War when you want to time your cooldowns so that it doesn't affect. Alright, so this will be my last battle for the video. Let's see what I can do here. Alright. Ooh. I need Night Nurse. I need all these guys. Alright, so I got a couple options. I could replace a few guys or. I could kind of gamble, hoping that Night Nurse, she does have this that all heal cooldown. Yondu's guys are coming up soon, so let's chance it. Let's see if I could get Night Nurse's heal off and Yondu's summon off to help us out a little bit. All right, so let's get the heat, the speed. All right, so this one's actually looking good. Sometimes you get a big wave sometimes you get two waves and then sometimes you get a few little waves like this so i think the biggest threat right now is that heal block from karath so i'm going to go after him first and uh, all right so we got here we didn't get a stitcher let's try to slow down hopefully we could get karath good we got karath with a all right and he got night nurse with that all heal block but let me heal everybody else and then once that gets off then i will Go back and try to heal Night Nurse if I can. Let me. Oh, he still has that taunt on him. That took him out. Took out Thor. All right, so we're in pretty good shape as long as she doesn't go after Night Nurse. I'm just gonna use basic attacks because there's another wave coming and this might actually take her out. I want to use much basic as possible. All right, biggest threat is Rocket and Gamora right now. Going after Drax. I'm gonna use the big because one of Tank is, and she actually removed the buff there. Nice. All right, so I think the big AOE damage is a little more dangerous than a big single target damage. So I took out Rocket first. Let me get back at Gamora now. And I will do 
an AoE attack. Got another one coming up with. And then one more. Let's see what that does. Got most of the team there. Nebula revived herself. And now I could heal. Ooh, is it going to be Night Nurse or Hawkeye? It might be Hawkeye. Yep, it was Hawkeye. And that is done. So we got through five waves so far. Looking decent so far, but we will see how far we get. We've been getting 100% clears, 98% almost clears, and kind of alternating between those. Just a few more points, a little more coordination, but uh, yeah, so when you're doing these raids, just make sure that you coordinate. So the raid that I'm taking goes up the side, then I come back up to here, this purple. Then I go to this node here, and then all the way to the end. There's two bosses that are really hard. This one, and this one on each one. And there's three of these strike teams for each level 50 raid. It's pretty tough. It came way higher in value. I could take a whole lane before, but with the update, this raid is a lot harder. Plus, these uh, heals. There's only 500 worth of them. There used to be 2,000 before, so it's got a lot tougher. And hopefully this helps you guys in planning out your raids and looking ahead. If you're not at the level 50 raids yet, looking ahead at these so you know what to expect for your alliance. That is it for today. And I will be back on Monday with another video. And until then... Have fun playing, and I will see you next time. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, and leave a like if this video was of any value to you. I will see you next time. Take care. Valley Flying, out.